Hello everyone, Kumo here. Welcome to the channel, and welcome to Monster Hunter Rise. I'm super excited guys, because Monster Hunter Rise is now available on all platforms. It was out on the Switch and PC already, but now finally out for the Xbox and PlayStation. So I want to welcome all the new players or returning players in Monster Hunter Rise. I am going to be making a build for you guys for um, new players and also veterans that kind of want to return to Monster Hunter and breeze through the story and uh, you know kind of get to high rank without any issues you can breeze through all the hub quests all the village quests and just use one build and just get everything done right away it's very cost efficient you don't have to spend a lot of money on this build or time finding parts and things like that or farming monsters you can build this straight up right away i am already on you know hub three and village level three i'm hunter rank three and my build's basically done. You can even defeat the uh, storyline boss with this build. Or at least get to it. I was able to defeat the storyline boss with this build. And uh, defeated it really quick within 10 minutes. So um, each quest for the village will take anywhere from 3 to 5 minutes to complete with this build. And online hub quests up to 8 to 10 minutes because they have higher HP pool. And it's a very straightforward build. That only requires you to have two pieces that are mandatory and the weapons mandatory so three mandatory pieces and the rest of the armor is optimal you can choose what you want and mix and match and add the skills that you want if you're a new player you can add skills that you um, want to try out and if you're a veteran player you can add skills and armor pieces that will uh, cater to your playstyle and have those must-haves that you want or desire in your build. So here it is. It is based off of the Jaeger Light Bowgun. The Jaeger Light Bowgun is a bowgun from the Ore Tree that gives you rapid fire to normal ammo. And rapid you can rapid fire it and it has a clip capacity of 4. And it's really good because the um, has no deviation. The recoil is a little bit... Reload is average, you can move around it, you can basically very smooth get, um, fire rate and everything about it is smooth, nothing's clunky, nothing's missing, nothing feels bad, it's just perfect, you never run out of ammo because it's super easy to craft level 2 rapid fire, or not rapid fire, level 2 uh, shots because all it takes is... Um, one gunpowder and one and, and some normal rounds which you get infinite infinite amount of no matter what you always have infinite normal rounds and um it, one um gunpowder will give you four bullets so it's very cost efficient as well and doesn't take a lot to farm so i'm gonna show you guys the jaeger light bowgun right now right here light bowgun it's in the oratory and look how easy it is to make Three ore, ICM Earth Crystal. Dragonite ore can be found in um, the volcano right after you unlock the first fight for the volcano, which is Magnamalo. You don't even need to defeat Magnamalo. You can just do a Magnamalo quest and then run around, collect all the ore, make it show up on the map, and uh, look for all the ore spots, and then just get these. I got this all, all the Dragonite ore. It took me one visit to the volcano to get and then upgraded to Jaeger 1 which costs magna prism ghost prisms and you those are just shiny drops off of magna Molo. you don't even need to defeat magna Molo. you can actually just get a mount from another monster press um square on the playstation or uh i forgot what button it's the left button on the controller for right it's like where the X button is, to the left of the X button on the Xbox, I forgot what button that is. But just push that button to launch the monster into uh, Magda Molo and he'll drop a bunch of shinies basically because he got collided on. And you just run around and pick them up, 16% drop chance for a Ghost Prism. I didn't even need to defeat Magda Molo to get those, so super easy. Shiny drops on the ground will give you Ghost Prisms. And then you go, boom, you're done with Jaeger. Uh, it does evolve into Jaeger Prime. And uh, Jaeger Prime takes a couple more pieces. I think some Rathalos stuff in high rank. But basically, you're set and good to go. And the reason why it's so good is just, you know, just rapid fire too. Shoot everything to death for clip capacity. And the reason why the set, in my opinion, or the weapon, in my opinion, is so good. 
is because you can customize it with this. These two uh, pieces that are mandatory. Right here, Tyranitar, level 2 um, hub. You can unlock Tyranodon there. And uh, it will give you normal up. What normal up does is slowly, slightly increases the power of normal ammo and rapid type ammo. Or arrows. Level 1, 10%. And then that will give you 10% increase. Vague armor, which is another mandatory piece, in the final mandatory piece, will give you normal rapid up level 2. Well, it gives you level 1, but those both of those combined will give you level 2. And then that's it. You're done. So basically 20% increase to normal shots. And then you can mix and match what you want after that. You know, mix and match what you want after that. Sorry about my stutter, guys. Um, you can mix and match what you want after that. You can get what I recommend is um, you can get the Zuchi Helm, which gets you Critical Eye, uh, the Zuchi Coil, Critical Eye, then the Ingot, right here. Ingot just takes some ore, and basically you get Attack Boost and Critical Eye. So all together with those pieces, this is what we're working with. It will give us if I can get to it. Critical eye level three, normal rapid up level two, attack boost level one, and that's it. You guys are good. And for ramp up, after you unlock ramp up through the village or the hub, um, you can just do attack. It takes three defender tickets. Boom, you're done. Plus six attack. You're good to go. You know, we're all set now. And then I can show you guys now how to get that weapon, so. So, equipment info. Show you guys right here. Why don't I show you guys the affinity too? I don't know why it's showing zero affinity. When I clearly have. Infinity. Critical Eye. It just shows right here. 15% Infinity. So I technically have 50% Infinity right now. So there it is. And you guys might wonder. For all those veteran players. Out there wondering. Why normal rapid fire 2? Why not rapid fire. A level 1 with the Zuchi light bow gun. Let's go ahead and compare. Then I'll show you guys how to get the armor pieces. The Zuchi. Right here. It gives you Pierce 1 Rapid Fire, see? Oh, not the, the Zuchi level 2, 1 right there. See, it gives you Pierce level 1, 3 um, slots right there. And people are probably wondering, why not this? Instead of normal Rapid Fire, just get the um, Pierce, it does more damage, right? Technically, it does. Slice does more damage. It can slice can do more damage, rapid fire stickies can do more more damage, and um, Pierce can do much more damage. But not until late game, until after the story, until you have those monsters available to you to give you those skills to enhance those ammo types to its full potential. So until then, you're better off just doing normals until you get to mid uh, high rank where you can get those monsters that give you the right build and setup and create those crazy damage 50 a hit type of things but until then you're not gonna do any high damage with rapid fire until then so i don't recommend it and also it's very hard to maintain one needle or huskberry whatever it takes to craft the um one bullet of piercing it's not worth it it's very cost efficient uh it's, it's not very cost efficient at all it takes it takes up all your money to maintain it and um, you have to keep crafting pierce ammo, and the monsters are too small. If you hit a monster with a pierce shot, it doesn't even go all the way through. The monsters are too small. It's better to use on, like, elders or, you know, more endgame stuff. The bigger monster is, the better for pierce. If, and all the monsters in early are just small and, you know, not worth it. And it's harder to maintain. You'll always be broke because you're busy 
buying the ammo and also having to craft all the stuff when um, you're doing normal rapid fire 2 all it takes is one gunpowder and normal ammo is free and you have infinite of it and normal level 2 is just take one well normal level 1 is infinite normal level 2 it just takes one gunpowder level 2 which is 11z and you can make four four bullets one full clip boom easy so that's about it with the build and that's my reasoning about not using any of the other ammo types until end game because you don't have the resources nor the uh efficient skills to maximize those ammo types until late game so now i'm going to show you guys how to get some of the pieces so the other pieces are from the bosses uh or monsters like the pteranodon you know those are easy to get the annoying part or not the annoying part is super easy to get this too the harder part is getting the um the bream the bream fish so i'm gonna show you guys how to do that so um order items trade requests and to get that you got to get it from the ice bar bazaar so you choose the uh, go to the submarine uh you see where it says all you hit R1, hit R1 again, hit R1, R1 again, and you're now you are at the Ice Barb Barb Bazaar. The Ice Barb Bazaar is a place where you can get those dream fish in a bonus. So you just click this. You set to your tr that you want IV or any of the Ice Barb Bazaar items. So hit R1 until your cursor is above Ice Barb Bazaar. If it has a little fishy icon next to it, that's how you get those fish. The one for to craft it so i'm just gonna use herb and then confirm it and then out our cat goes to go grab us some iv and a chance to get those armored bream fish whatever they're called it only takes one by the way so that's it and now i'm gonna show you guys how to use the build so exchange for items Special goods. Sometimes you can find it in the rare fiend right here. So I'll grab some of this. Grab some of that. Yep. So you get it from the submarine, and make sure your uh, material that you're gathering or requesting is from the ice bar bazaar. So just go for IVs because that's a chance to get you your fishies that you need. And you can tweak up your build and add more stuff to it. I can show you the tweakness right now. Um, forge armor. Basically, you can swap out your Azuchi helm for something else. You will lose your critical, but you get the armored bream. And, or not the armored bream. You'll get ammo up. So it will increase your clip capacity to uh, five rounds at from the Jaeger one. So your ammo will go up by one. So you can do that if you want, or if you want to keep the affinity, go for it. You can add... Um, the Vague Helm if you want as well, um, not as well, if you want to swap out the uh, Zuchi for the Vague Helm, go for it. You'll lose your, you'll get Critical Eye level 2 though, you'll lose one stat in Critical Eye, but you'll gain ammo up to increase your clip size. That's about it. And now we are going to hunt something. Let's do this one. I'm going to show you guys how to use the build. And also, right here, real quick, raid all menu, quests, um, we're going to do shortcut one. We're going to go here. Uh, we're going to show you guys, uh, we're going to change this to, we're going to put potion here instead. But I'm going to show you guys how to um, craft the ammo all in one go. So shortcut one, go over to whatever slot or area you want it to be in so i'm going to go to the right because that's just where i like it um we're going to go to crafting so um shortcut one um crafting and then we're going to go over to uh ammo and then we're going to go down to ammo level two click that there and then you can do one by one or all just go all and then if you run low on ammo all you do is hit l1 and then uh your shortcut will be automatically set to shortcut one up on the d-pad to hit shortcut one if it's had a different shortcut just hit shortcut one 
by pressing up on the D-pad, and then make your hit right. It's not showing the um the craft all right now because it's only it'll only show you guys when you're in a quest. See when you're in a quest, right here, right there. I just crafted all of it at once. So you do a quest, then you just basically restock from the cat or the um, the reason why I like it so much is right after a quest, uh, you can restock your ammo instantly, and also the boxes have ammo too for level two. And if you want uh, gunpowder, all you do is buy it from the cat next to the quest lady inside the hub, or the market person outside of in in the town, and then you're good to go. You're just restocked and go back and fight right away. Super efficient. Doesn't ta take a lot of money to maintain at all. So I'm gonna show you guys the bread and butter. So this is for you uh, new players or people want to know how to optimize this build fully. Uh, this is how I use it. All right. So you go to your monster, get your weapon out, get, make sure it's out. Triangle circle, triangle circle, triangle circle. Knock it out. I don't know what the controls on our Xbox. I'm sorry, I don't own one. So press circle to get all your wyverns stuff down. Shoot it like that. Yeah, look at all that damage. It's basically almost dead right now. Go to your ammo too. Look at that. Excuse me, sir. Put down the rock. It's not a boulder. It's a rock. Spongebob reference. It also has poison ammo too. So if you're fighting like stronger monsters, you can poison them. Later on, you'll get exhaust. So you can actually uh, dunk a monster that's flying in the air. If they're flying, you hit exhaust and they'll fall down. Then you can do the same setup with um, your wyvern stuff. circle R R1 circle you can put a thing on their head if you land on top of you can like make a mind drop on them he's almost dead already see that top right of the screen if it shows a blue marker like that that means he's almost done so or they There you go. Simple build gets the job done. Two minutes and 49 seconds. That's all it takes. And see how I have 41 ammo? Oh, I ran out of um, husks. Or, um, I ran out of my ammo. Uh, not my ammo, my crafting, because I forgot to get gunpowder. But basically, one, you know, one gunpowder is four bullets. So one gunpowder, you can keep 40 gunpowder on you. So 40 gunpowder, so 40 times four. So 40 times four. I'm bad at math right now. I'm sorry, guys. Let me think here. 40 times four. 160 rounds plus the base hundred that you get and plus the extra 40 that you get from the thing So you basically have like I don't know a lot you'll have a lot You have like 230 something rounds right then and there I think 239 You have 239 shots to kill your monster and I killed that thing in like in 40 with all your crafting and that's you know you'll be set as well and you can also poison the monster too with poison rounds so and uh, you can also bring tr uh, traps and trink it trink it and sleep it if you want or bring a trap and then bring trink shots and then throw their trap down you can actually pre trink it as well and then throw your um, trap down and boom captured monster doesn't work on elders though but yeah, that's it. That's a build, guys. Hope you enjoy.
See you all in the next one. Peace.